Hello fellow VSFers. In this tutorial you will learn how to add custom language to your View Storefront 2 project. View Storefront uses the IEDN support that you can check out here in the documentation website. This page will give you hints and instructions on how to configure the module to make your application work with several languages will help you configure it with view starfront itself with CDN cookies and for example also disable the auto redirect mechanism or detect currency automatically based on your browser this IATN support is actually provided by the next IATN module so if you are interested in more details about the IATN, you can check this website documentation as well. For this project, I will be using the View Storefront and Commerce Tools integration. But for this part, like changing the languages on the front end itself, this approach will be generic or platform agnostic, basically. Will work very similar in all integrations you will choose. So in this tutorial I will modify or add new language right here because right here we currently have the English and if we open up open it up we have German. So we will add another language here and we won't be translating the whole website because the process is quite time consuming. We will only apply some Mm, translated text right here in this section of the footer so that when we change the language by using the flag we will have different texts here. Let's go to the code and add our custom language. This is the default ViewStorefront 2 project structure so all integration projects will look fairly similar. As you can see here, I already added one file here, which is, that's why the, the folder name is highlighted in green. And if we go and open those folders here, static, icons, and langs, you will see here that there is a new file called pl.webp. Basically, this is a new flag that I will add, that I have added to the project so that we can have this uh, local selector. So we have the German one, the English one, and right now the Polish one as well. But we won't be using it right now, so let's close it up. In terms of handling IETN in ViewStorefront 2 application, it's usually in, done in two places. First, you will have the directory or the folder called lang, where you will have the files where each of them will have the translations of English words into translated into certain language, for example, here to German. So in these files, you will have those, all those texts, that, those static texts that are then translated into different language. So in here, in a moment, we will add a new file with our Polish translation. But let, let's close it for now and let's go to nextconfig.js file. Usually in this file you will have all the IATN configuration in the form of IATN object, just like this one here. However, for this ViewStorefront 2 application, we have it in a separate file called default IATN settings which is actually located in the scripts and in here default IATN settings. For majority of projects, you will most probably have the IATN configuration in the nux.config.js file. Let's go to the default IATN settings here. And as you can see, this file contains all the logic for IATN configuration of our project. So you have the things like basic or default currency and the country. We have the uh, array of countries that are supported. We have array of currencies and locals, 
we also have things here related to view IATN module because Next IATN uses view IATN under the hood. Let's start adding a functionality to make our app work with the Polish language as well. So in here, in the countries array, we'll add another object here and we will name it, we'll give it a name PL and we will give it a label Polish or even better Poland. In the currencies, we will also add another object here for the Polish currency and we will go with PLN label will be um, złoty and ICO will be PL and finally here in locals we will add another object as well for the Polish configuration and it will have a code of PL label will be Polish and file will be pl.js.js and ICO will be pl as well. In here we can also add the number formats for our and the currency for our IATN. So let's add it right now. PL currency will be PLN. Okay, that's it for now. Let's go right now to the lang right here and let's create a new file this file right here so pl.js in this file i would just copy some code that i created earlier so that it will be easier to just explain what it does so similarly to other languages i will open for example the german one to the side right here as you can see, we have the English names, about us, who we are, quality in the details, customer reviews, as well as the Polish translations here. So basically these are the links in the footer that are that will be, thanks to Next ITN, translated to the Polish one. Let's just close this for now and let's inspect how we can use this IATN in our components. So this footer is part of this layout default one right here. It's called app footer. So let's see our app footer component. In here we are just making an SF which, which stands for storefront UI. So we are making a SF list of the items in our about us array. Each of these items have this dollar $t before the name and the name will be just plain English text, who we are, quality in the details, customer reviews. So we will use this dollar $t helper that is provided by IATN so that we can translate those texts thanks to the module. The names that you see here or for example here here and here they are not actually the texts that are displayed on the page they are rather a keys to our configuration of IATN so for example we have this who we are key that will be then used in our translation if we go to lang and pl.js here we will see that we have the same key who we are, but with the different value, the Polish one. And if we go to the EN, we also have this who we are and the DE as well. We can also have access to the IATN by going to, for example, other components and in our use context, for example, right here, we can access the IATN from the app itself, the next app that is going that is running under the View Storefront application. So then we can use it in a similar way in our script setup.
This is the case for the static texts that are displayed on the page. But what about links? So if we go, for example, to the header navigation.view file, it will have some navigation items that will redirect our user to the certain page. In order to make it work with the locales or the IETN, to have links, for example, slash DE slash category instead of slash category, we can use the helper called local path, where we will pass the path, which will be this category part, and this helper will automatically add appropriate prefix to our URL so that we will have this localhost 3000 slash DE slash category. Make sure to restart the app to apply the changes and let's go to the browser to see the result. So we see our app and the change wasn't applied yet but when we go to the local selector right here, we will see that right here there is a new language, Polish one. So when you click on it, you will see the pop-up here, whether you would like to change the language or not. So we will click yes. And right after changing the language, in here you will see that our um, URL will change. We will have a new slash PL part in our URL. So in here, we will also see the flag that is now selected. So you have selected the Polish language. As you can see here, we don't have any translated text here because we haven't translated them yet. The fallback of Next IETN will leave those texts in the default language, which was English. However, if we scroll down to the footer section right here, you will see that these texts are indeed in Polish. While scrolling here, you might have noticed that, for example, for this product, product card, we have the uh, ZL, which is the Polish currency sign, but we have the price zero. This is caused by the fact that each platform, each e-commerce platform would have to be configured in, in order to work with a new language. So right now we have the um, specific symbol for the currency, but we don't have the prices. We'll configure prices in the next videos.